So what is going on YouTube? Alright, so I know the name of the channel is GP Woodworks and you're looking at a bunch of metal. I did some woodworking a week ago so you guys can't get too mad. There'll be more wood, I promise. There'll be more wood. But I'm exploring this thing and I got a project. So, um, Also, uh, Greg's Garage is hosting Welda. Weld every living day in August. This will probably be my only entry. So sue me. Um, anyway, I've had the welder for a few weeks. And I basically just kept piling more things on to find joints to weld. And I'll get to that one in a minute. And then, then I would break them to see what kind of penetration I was getting. So the top end on this cheapo welder according to the cheapo welder is 3 16th steel uh, mild steel anyway and so that's what I started with that way I wouldn't have to worry about blowing through and all that crap um, and I tinkered with the settings and the wire speed and my weld speed and my technique and all that stuff and I got to where I felt okay with moving forward and actually trying something um, this thing's not getting a tremendous amount of penetration so it's all about you cutting a v-groove in it and creating that penetration so i feel fairly comfortable with that then i moved on to a piece of eighth inch and and it does fine with an eighth inch so it's warped because i tried to break the weld and and it wouldn't break so I did go through an entire one pound spool of wire just playing with it and instead of going back to Harbor Freight for wire I stopped by the big orange box and got some Lincoln electric wire and oh boy what a difference <laughs> at the end of the video I'm gonna explain my concept for for this project and hopefully it'll make sense to some folks. I know when I had the idea, it made a whole lot of sense to me. Um, I've described this to some people and they kind of raised an eyebrow at me. <laughs> like I was crazy for coming up with it. But um, this project is for someone in particular who has a working method. And I'm sure it's his own. But I saw a need in his case, and this was my solution for that need. So I hope you enjoy it. Stick around to the end for the explanation, and <laughs> here we go.
So the stitching's not perfect. So this end has a chisel head. And this side, claw hammer. Alright, so now the explanation for this. Guy I work around is a commercial door guy. He has a hammer with a head on it just like this one. In fact, I want to say it's the exact same model of hammer. And his handle has years ago worn off. It's about that long and he puts that flat edge into the heads of pins to knock them out of doors wedges them on there and then just hits this with his hand so over the years that thing's worn down worn down worn down so i was watching him put in a door one day waiting for him to get out of my way so i could do my stuff and i thought he needs a chisel down there and because, you know, I like to just get in here and, you know, screw off. That's what I did. So, uh, welded the chisel into the handle. Because I've been wanting uh, an actual welding project. And I kind of got off on messing with some leather when I did the sheath for the knife. So I figured I'd give it a shot at wrapping the handle with some leather. And I actually kind of like it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.